And good morning, everybody. <clears throat> I wanted to talk about this <clears throat> topic. One skill away from success. One skill, one skill. And I, I was thinking yesterday that this could be the keys to, to, to everyone's success. If you realize that, and if you do some research, you will figure it out. One skill away from success. People make millions of dollars right now online because they have learned and developed one skill. They go online, they create YouTube channels, they create the Instagrams, whatever. They start teaching these skills and they make some some people make millions, all right. And <clears throat> every one of us have a talent and have the capability of learning, developing, becoming, like I said, top ten professional in your brand, and then start teaching other people the same thing and making money out of it, all right. And uh, yesterday I talked about uh, implying this into our business, into uh, the waiter's job. And it's also true because if you become really the top selling waiter in the world, that is a skill that, that will skyrocket your career, uh, your money, everything. I mean, I'm the top waiter of selling drinks, of selling wine, of selling chef specials. Everybody will want to hire you, a minimum. Not to mention that you can start teaching other people how to do it. You can start teaching people how to be the top seller in their restaurant, increase their income, increase their status, skyrocket their career. You can do that. Everybody can do it. I mean, I know people that uh, teaching, uh, uh, selling skills, you know, and, and they make money out of this. It's a course, you know, you create an online course and, and start selling it. Um, so you guys got to sit down, put your skills. What's your skills, you know, right now? What do you have? You have communication skills. You have selling skills. You have... Um, I don't know, man, app developing skills, whatever you have, whatever skills you have, because it should not be only uh, F&B skills. You definitely have some other skills, some other talents, some other desires. And you have to truly believe that if you're not skilled right now or not skilled enough, if you put what it calls the 10,000 10, hours rule, the 10,000 hour rule, you put 10,000 hours in the next two years into this single skill and you become top 10, you know, 10% in the top 10% in your, in this field, you automatically put yourself into a success path. You will become successful person based only on this skill. So right now you can sit down, you can think about it. You can figure out what do you like? What's your talent? What would you like to teach other people after two years? And then the next two years, you sit and you spend one hour every single day learning and improving this skill. And then after two years, I just start teaching other people and start making money based on this skill. It's, in, but it's, it's incredible, but internet gives you this option. You know, we, back in the days, that was... That was not the case. You can you can still teach people uh, while develop one skill in your in your neighborhood, in your town, maybe in your country. But uh, right now you can teach people all over the world, man. You don't ever need to leave your home. You don't ever need to leave your home, and you can make money online, and you can um, uh, become a, you know uh, really someone uh, who helps millions of people. Uh, to improve their lives uh, that's what i'm trying to do man uh, that's exactly what i'm trying to do i'm trying to help everybody that's uh, in the fmb business um, improve their skills and knowledge and, um, and improve their life that's that's exactly what i'm trying to do 
uh, for the last six years now, six years. Uh, um, come, Debbie. Hey, would like to take the course? Are the classes still on? Um, uh, Debbie, can I say that? Come, Debbie. Uh, the classes are on uh, now uh, you have to pay um i i kept the the now like maybe you you did you don't follow the 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 academy so uh so close but um, um if, since august uh, we made the all the courses uh, pay you pay ten dollars you have access to all five courses you finish all five courses uh, in a matter of uh, within 30 days and you get your money back um <clears throat> now if you want to just take the weighted training course or the wine course or whatever uh, then you have to pay ten dollars uh finish it and uh cancel your account uh, so you don't get to uh, be charged uh, another ten dollars in the next month uh it's up to you you guys i kept the the free option uh but uh, i really want you guys when you get to the waiters academy to learn not to just sign up and and uh and don't do nothing like uh, 8,000 people have been doing this uh, in the last uh, five years uh, and that's why we made it uh, this way now uh, hold on man I don't know if you can hear me that better or this way better um, <clears throat> anyway um, they are available like I said um, you have the weighted training course the wine course you have the beverage course, you have the coffee and tea course, and the bus boy, bus, bus girl course. And then, of course, you have the leadership class as well. Um, and I advise everybody, everybody that sign up for, for the Waiters Academy courses to make sure you go very, very carefully uh, on, the, on the leadership class because that's going to be tremendous, tremendous help uh, for your future. Uh, but yes, uh, they are available. Uh, I you know, I, I'm working now mostly with the restaurants, but uh, I, I kept one plan for waiters. I think everybody can afford to invest uh, uh, in themselves uh, 10 bucks. And plus, if you don't, if you're not able to invest uh, in yourself 10 bucks, uh, you want your money back, uh, all you gotta do is just take the five courses in the next 30 days, you finish them, uh, you know, you complete the courses uh, successfully in the next 30 days, and you get your money back all all 10 bucks you get you back uh and um i think that's uh, that's fair <clears throat> so i can join anytime yes you can just go to the waitsacademy.com uh and start uh, uh click on the uh, start your trial now and uh, and then you sign up and uh, and get uh, and get going with uh, whatever course you want um, and pretty much everything is explained there, how you do it, uh, what you do it. Of course, so once you sign up, um, we get in touch. Uh, you have my uh, emails, phone numbers, everything. I'm always available for any questions, any uh, uh, difficulties that you have, uh, because uh, sometimes uh, uh, students have uh, some, uh, um, something is not so clear and they want uh, some explanation. I'm always available. Of course, the videos try to explain everything, but of course, n you know, sometimes it's not uh, so 100% clear. So you can always contact me and I will uh, I will explain everything for you. I don't give you free answers to any of the tests or anything, but I explain everything so you can understand it. And once you go to the test, uh, you know the answers. Uh, so yes, uh, you can you can go for it if you if you wish uh, to sign up for the courses. <clears throat> Azril Afrianza says, I need a job. Very good. I'm doing video right now um exactly about that anybody that wants to start uh, as uh, working as a waiter you're gonna have uh, the algorithm you know the step-by-step -step tutorial what you gotta do how you gotta do it with all the helpful uh, resources everything's gonna be there uh, but if you need a job right now i will give you just a quick uh, uh, advice uh, create a nice beautiful cv i got uh, this uh, on the waiters academy uh, get yourself uh, started with a nice uh, CV, then uh, get yourself referral letters. If you have previous jobs or you have uh, some studies or anything, just get some referral letters that uh, establish your character. Uh, you know, people talking about who you are, what's your character. Uh, 
of course, in a positive manner. Then uh, you have to sit down and write a motivational letter. And then you start every single day sending application to 20, uh, 20 restaurants or hotels uh, for a job. All right. It depends uh, where you are and uh, where do you want to work. Uh, so you start every day 20 applications. By the end of the week, you're going to have three interviews. I guarantee you that. You're going to have three interviews. And if you prepare the way I teach you on the Waits Academy to prepare for the waiter interview, you're going to get the job and you're going to have a job in a matter of two weeks, man. So just, just go for it. Huh? <clears throat> All right. Um, <clears throat> listen, guys. I have uh, nothing uh, much to say. Um, I mean, yes, I just finished the workout and I'm, I'm so dizzy right now because I'm um, pushing a little bit too much. And, um, and uh, yeah, I'm trying to push. I got to get in shape uh, for my uh, vacation coming uh, next week. Uh, so I want to go to the beach and I want to uh, look like a, like a man, not, not like a hyena. So um, I'm tired and, uh, and I got so many things to do. If you guys um, have no questions or no comments, I will just close the live stream and uh, go, go on with my uh, job. <clears throat> Benny Ramos, stack more banquet serving, please. Uh, I mean, there is nothing to talk about banquet service, my friend. I got the videos. You got uh, um, the banquet videos. Uh, if you want something specific, you can always ask. Uh, because just talking about banquet service, I don't know. I, should I tell you stories uh, like we did in Las Vegas? A banquet for 13,000 people. A banquet for 13,000 people. At the same time, at the same room, 13,000 people. We were more than 1,000 waiters. I don't know how many hundreds of uh, barkeepers and I don't know the kitchen, what kind of stuff was working in the kitchen. But um, uh, banquets banquets are um, uh, in Las Vegas. Las Vegas, the Venetian Las Vegas. Uh, that was the biggest banquet I ever done. Of course, I don't, I don't recall anybody done a more than 13,000 people banquet. Uh, that was for Comdex. That was the biggest uh, convention in Las Vegas in, uh, I think it was like a 2004. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, uh, banquets, depends where you're working banquets, you know. You can work banquets and make a lot of money, like in the United States. And you can work banquets and don't make nothing if you work uh, pretty much everywhere in the world because you don't get tipped. Uh, the banquets, uh, even the banquet, if the let's say you do a uh, wedding and uh, you work your ass off 16 hours, really, really pushing yourself, and then the wedding they pay the bill up in the in the offices, and when they pay the bill, they 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 leave the tip. But guess what's happening? Those people in the offices steal the tip, and they say, well, they didn't leave nothing, so we don't have nothing for the waiters. And that's 99% of the time what's happening, and uh, and. Um, so working banquets could be a very profitable thing if you work in Las Vegas banquets and could be a very un, uh, thankful job if you work uh, somewhere else. <clears throat> so um, I don't advise uh, uh, you stay long, working long, long time in the banquet area. I always say you move. Uh, and your job and your your goal has, has to be uh, moving to a fine dining a la carte restaurant that you can serve uh, real guests and you can uh, make uh, your own money and you don't wait for anybody else to 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 uh, you know split the money and give you a little bit uh, after they have stolen a bunch of uh, thousands of dollars it happens everywhere in the world a lot of times uh, managers uh, abuse their their uh, powers uh, you know they split the tip and uh, you know, you got like, let's say for the whole month, you collected, you know, like I used to work in the hotels that we collect like a thirty, forty thousand dollars tip uh, from the whole, from the whole F&B department. All right. So forty thousand dollars tip, but nobody knows how much exactly that is because, you know, people just put the money, the envelopes in the, in the box and then, and the manager goes and, and split the tip, but you have forty thousand dollars, man, you can put five thousand dollars in your pocket. And then split the thirty-five thousand dollars between hundred and fifty waiters and and kitchen staff, and no one 
will notice a thing. And people do that all the time. So I don't like these kind of things. I don't think that's motivated, uh, motivating the, the waiters to do uh, the best service they could possibly do. Um, it's not fair. And uh, I think that uh, the waiters should uh, keep the money and they should tip out their help. You know, if I'm the head waiter today, you know, I'm a station waiter, I collect my checks, I kept my, I take my uh, tip. Uh, at the end of the evening, I give uh, a little bit to my uh, bus boy. Uh, if he's doing a good job, I give him more. Uh, if I give a little bit to the barkeeper, all right? And then, of course, uh, if you have agreement with the kitchen, maybe you give something to the kitchen, but uh, uh, most of the money you keep uh, yourself. Waiters should keep 75% of their tip. Waiters should keep 75% of their tip. If I make today $200 tip, all right? I should keep 150 for myself and give $50 to uh, my help. All right. And I think that's fair. But that's not just fair. That's that's smart. Okay? Because then my earnings depend on my performance. All right? My earnings depend on my performance and I will strive to give the best performance I could possibly give which means the best service I could possibly give to my guests so I can make more money. And that's a smart politics. And that's what the managers should be doing. Not that way around. Oh, you made $200, give it to me. I will give you back $200 back on the day, on the month. Uh, but yeah, but I made $6,000 during the month. Yeah, but you have to tip everybody else, you know. And of course, I got to put some $1,000 in my pocket too. So that's pretty stupid. And um, and. Um, uh, it's unfortunate that many, many companies are going this way. And uh, I just, I think the waiters got to fight back. I, everywhere I've been, I always fight against this uh, system. Uh, sometimes I succeed, sometimes I don't succeed. And then I just say, bye, because I don't want to work my ass off, giving my best effort, and then someone else to take from my money and give to the people that haven't done pretty much nothing or don't deserve to get my money and I get uh, back uh, like uh, 10% or 5% of uh, the total earnings that I have uh, made during the month. That's not fair. So, Veneran sounds true. Um, good to know and that's affirmative too. I agree. Nice, man. Thank you for agreeing with me. Uh, Benny says again, what's a good fine dining restaurant to transition to coming from normally working regular coffee break, lunch, and etc. It doesn't matter. Right now, uh, fine dining restaurants or, or casual dining restaurants, everybody has problems finding people. So if you uh, want to work in a, in, a, in a fine dining, I would suggest you just uh, um, educate yourself a little bit with, the, with the, what is LQA service. What are the, the steps of service? You know, I teach you all this and it's for free on the Waiters Academy. You don't even have to sign up for the courses. You just go to the blog page and you can learn all those things. You can learn how to sell. You can learn how to handle guest complaints. You can learn how to um, uh, talk to guests. Everything is for free on the blog post. All right. So you can go, you can educate yourself a little bit, and then you can just apply for the job. And what you got to do is follow the tutorials that I teach you how to apply for a job how to go to a job interview, how to prepare for a job interview so you get 100% success. And then, of course, how to start your first day at work. Very important thing. You just learn the menu up front. You learn the wine list up front. You learn the, the service system up front. You learn the computer system up front. So once you hit the floor as a new waiter on your first day, you will be the number one new waiter they have ever seen. And that immediately puts you on the completely different level than anybody else because they will appreciate they will appreciate you know your knowledge your expertise uh your effort <clears throat> so you just uh, uh, if you want to move you start looking for a fine dining restaurant in your area okay go get the menu go get the wine list learn what kind of guests they serve what kind of prices they have uh and then you go and apply for a job explaining to the manager that you have already made the effort to learn their menu, to learn their wine list, to learn their guests, and you are ready to hit the floor running from day one. That's how you win the the the, the managers on your side. Um, so 
that's that's the that's the way to do it. Uh, yes, knowledge is power. Yeah, you know what? There is a there is a. This is the old saying: knowledge is power. But right now, all those uh, leadership gurus and uh, and uh, basically those uh, smart people tells you uh, tell you that uh, that uh, knowledge is not a power. Knowledge is nothing unless you take action. There are so many knowledgeable people that are afraid to take action, and this knowledge that they have is complete garbage. All right. But knowledge turns into a power if you take action based on this knowledge. Then it's a really powerful. When he says, I appreciate you, bro. You're very welcome, my friend. I, I hope you get the job in the next two weeks. And I'm pretty sure you're going to get it if you follow what I tell you. Uh, in two weeks, you're going to have a good job and uh, just go for it. Jose R., you, I have goatee, knowledge and execution. Exactly, knowledge and execution. <clears throat> oh man god bless you too my friend all right guys i see a lot of people on the live stream talk to me guys i i want to hear from you like benny you know where are you from what you're looking for um any questions you have any information you have share with us because this is what this thing is about this is about you talking with me talking between yourself um it's not about me just sitting here and preaching or, or saying i i can give you the answers if i have the answers of course but that's that's the good thing about this live stream that you can communicate between yourself you know so many people are looking for a job so many people know where jobs are and available so you can share this with us and maybe you have any other questions whatever it is uh, we're not talking about only fmb we're talking about leadership uh, we're talking about financial education i gave you come some couple of videos that uh, teach you a lot of things make sure you prepare yourself uh, there is a really world world crash coming crash i'm talking about real big crash uh and it's coming all over the world from United States to China, Europe, everywhere, the crash is coming. You better be prepared. If you want to make money, this is the time to make money. When everybody is freaking out, everybody is scared shitless, everybody is running away, you should stay calm and invest when the crash is in the big, 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 big swing and everybody just runs away. Uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. If you want to see that, go to the Waiters Academy uh, YouTube channel and check the money game uh, videos. Uh, I teach you um, how to treat your money and uh, how to invest your money. Uh, man, I have a suddenly a headache. Shit. Hmm. Sorry, guys. Something just hit me with a hammer in the head. Alright. Let me see because I missed... Um... Benny, how to decant wine is nice for me. Yeah, for sure, man. You, if you go to fine dining, you're gonna learn how to decant wine, how to uh, fillet a fish, how to uh, carve a, a steak, you know, how to carve a tomahawk steak. And in not only that you have to be able to do those things, you have to do them with, you know, finesse, with, uh, with poise, with uh, um, flawlessly, with ease. So you got to learn how to do these things for sure. But don't be afraid that you don't know exactly, you have not done it, all right? Uh, once you hit the floor, once you have the knowledge, you've seen the videos, you have the knowledge in your head, uh, don't be afraid to go in front of the guests and do it, okay? Uh, maybe the first time you're not going to be able to do it uh, perfectly, the second time it's going to be a little bit better, the third time is going to be very good, and then from there uh, you're going to do an excellent job. Do not be afraid, guys. Just go for it. The, the, the scariest thing is the first thing, the first time. All right, everybody is scared, everybody postponing, everybody postponing, and just pressure is building up on you. Don't be scared. I don't give a damn. If you make a mistake, it's normal because it's your first time. All right, you're gonna learn. You apologize, you apologize, you guys, 
and you just smile back and you say, you know what, next time I'll be better and next time comes, jump first, don't hide behind the line that, uh, oh, I'm busy with something else. Nah, there is a fish to fillet, bam, I'm going there and I'm going to practice it. I'm going to do it better next time and next time and next time until I get really good and uh, you get the best. Uh, Jose, have you gone to become a server going bald and clean cut versus hairy experience? I don't know what you're talking about, my friend. Um, I I love to be a, a shaved head, but my wife uh, is uh, against that, so um, I'm staying. Uh, I'm keeping a little bit of hair on my on my head. And uh, goatee in a lot of restaurants, uh, especially fine dining restaurants, don't allow the waiters to to wear goatees. Of course, you gotta be shaved. That's not uh, no no chance to work uh, with a with a beard. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's really irrelevant. Um, come, Debbie. Yes, we all need leadership skills and knowledge about finance. That way, we will all try. Absolutely. Hey, that's why people. That's why people actually stay poor because they nobody teaches you how to uh, how to handle your money. Nobody teaches you how to handle your money. Nobody. Your mom and dad don't know how to handle money. Even if they want to teach you, they cannot teach you. In school, nobody teaches you how to handle money. You go to university, nobody teaches you how to handle your money. No one. You have to take the steps to learn how to handle money. And if you handle money like a poor people, we stay poor. If we handle money like a rich people, we become rich. Simple as that. You know, very, very simple. And the rules of becoming rich are, are very simple. The only problem is you have to have the discipline, you know, uh, to, to, to follow those rules. And that's hard. This is the hard part, to have the discipline. Everything else is much easier. Everything else is easy, 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 easy. Uh, Jose is sending bags of uh, doors. Then Ramos says, drink water. Uh, leadership is true. Yeah, I mean, listen, leadership is an uh, empty word, actually. Leadership is empty word. Leadership is, is, a, is a sum of a bunch of skills. You get those skills and you got your leadership on the right track. You become a leader. You got to learn the skills. That's, that's what leadership means. You have like 15 skills that you have to really learn and practice and then you become a leader. That's, that's, that's so simple. But the skills, of course, it takes time and effort and, and it's not easy to, to develop those skills and not easy to practice those skills, you know? So, um, yeah. But I personally think that, uh, that uh, developing those skills uh, will help you tremendously in your life. Tremendously in your life. Um, you might don't want to be a leader. Not everybody wants to be a leader. But having those leadership skills will help you build your career, will help you build your relationships, will help you build your financial freedom, will help you with everything in life. So it's great to develop those leadership skills. And that's why I, I created the leadership class and I put it on the Waiters Academy so everybody can, um, can, can learn from that. Carlo. Carlo Arnes, shout out, sir. Any tip restaurant attendant of Royal Caribbean? Uh, are you working on the Royal Caribbean or you're planning to get to, to, to get the job on Royal Caribbean? Royal Caribbean is, uh, is you know, the best company uh, maybe uh, for cruise uh, line jobs. Um, I don't have uh, tips. It's, it's like everything else, my friend. You know, you work hard. You work really hard. Um, if you work in the main restaurants, you work uh, long hours. Uh, sometimes you work breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, you work, uh, mm, you know, with uh, guests from all over the world. And um, it's a great experience, very good money. Um, it's very hard to get a job on Royal Caribbean. Uh, but even, even, even there right now, it's easier because 
um, they just can find waiters as well, just like everybody else, just like every hotel, every restaurant, the cruise lines, they cannot find waiters as well. So now it's the time to get a good job. And now is the time to make a move, to make a career move and get a really good job. You got to prepare. I have a tutorial on the Waiters Academy blog post about uh, how to get a job on Royal Caribbean. Uh, if that's what you're uh, looking for. If you already have the job and you want some tips, I would just go uh, and, uh, and learn the steps of service. I would just go and learn how to handle guest complaints, how to be a top seller. All those things, you have it on the Waiters Academy uh, and you can learn it for free. Ahmed Shaban, my greetings to you first. Thank you, my friend. Greetings back. Uh, I want to advise to control the stress in restaurants in the street. Thank you in advance. Uh, this is a big problem from a lot of people. A lot of people quit the FMB business because of the stress. Um, there is no avoiding the stress. All right. So you can handle the stress uh, better with uh, building your experience. You know, if you're a young kid right now, uh, the stress is going to be tremendous on you. So um, trust me, the more knowledge you gain, knowledge is the key and then experience. But there are some techniques um, and I will just explain uh, very quickly uh, one or two of them. Now, the first thing when the stress you know, just goes through the roof in the restaurant is to remember that it's just temporary, all right? Let's say you got five tables at the same time. That's very stressful, all right? That's very stressful, but you have to understand it's part of the job. You're going to handle it. You're going to be a little bit late. Maybe some guests will get upset, but you're going to do the best you can. And in about 15, 20 minutes, after you have gone to all the tables, after you have taken all the, 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 the orders, and you have sent the drink orders, at least they get the drinks on the table, everything will come down again, and you're going to be back in, you know, back in, in, in uh, control of the station. So the stress in our business comes like, bam, and just goes slowly away in about 15 minutes, half an hour, maybe one hour, depends on the restaurant you are working. All right. So you have to remember, okay, I'm behind right now. I'm really stressed, but I will catch up in 15 minutes. Everything will calm down and that itself will help you just, just, just keep in check everything. Now, another technique is you have to understand the, 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 how, how the brain, the human brain works. So when we have, let's say, like I said, we have five tables and now what you do? You run, you run, you run, you run, you stress out. So what's happening in your brain? Your brain, usually, the thinking part of the brain is your cerebral cortex, whatever you call it, here, up front. But when you're stressing, when your brain is stressed up, it moves to the, to, the, to the different part of the brain. The thinking moves to the different part of the brain, you know, the emergency part of the brain. It's like the dinosaurs are chasing you and you have to you have to take a quick decision you have to uh whatever it is i don't know i don't i'm not a brain surgeon or whatever neurologist but i i i study this thing i, I watch uh, some seminars i learn these things so you start thinking with different part of the brain that is not so smart and it's not so uh doesn't have the memory that, uh, that, uh, that the, the, the frontal cortex has. So now this happens automatically. You, you just, you go to a stress situation and that's automatically the brain just switch. To get back to the normal part of the brain and you can think better clearly and, 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 uh, and use all of your uh, uh, memories and all of your experience back, you have to calm down. How you calm down? Instead of keep running and running and running and running faster and faster, you have to stop. Just stop in front of your station. You calm down by just taking deep breath. You take three breaths like that. Exhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, and just watch your station. Wait your brain to move back to the proper thinking area 
and then you start prioritizing all right i can i have to do this this and this and this okay first thing the most important i have to do this can i combine that with something else yes i gotta go to the kitchen to take extra sauce for this table all right and they're sitting there they're waiting for the extra sauce because you know they want extra sauce and they're not going to eat and the whole table is sitting waiting so this is priority but before i go while i go to the kitchen okay i have a bread for table five i can take the bread two so you don't make two trips to the kitchen and going back to the kitchen maybe i can take some plates or whatever just drop it go take the sauce order the sauce get the bread come back take the sauce go back pa 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 and that's it but you cannot do this with this part of the brain you got to do you got to bring the thinking back to the front and that help that's happen when you calm down so this is not what i'm telling you I, I i practice it i practice that it works for me um because i also get stressed i get stressed it doesn't matter i have 30 years experience in the food and beverage industry i work everywhere in the freaking world i work in any kind of restaurant you can imagine but i also get stressed because you want to give the best service to your guest and when you get five tables at the same time, you know already that you are screwed because you're not going to give the best service they should receive. It's not possible for five tables at the same time. So you're stressing, but instead of running faster and faster and faster, you know, you have to calm down, start breathing deep, move the thinking part back to the proper place in your brain and start prioritizing, start combining tasks, and just keep reminding yourself, this is just temporary. As soon as I serve the drinks, everybody will calm down and everybody will be happy back again. And those are the two things that you uh, can uh, implement immediately in your job so you can uh, release the stress. But you have to understand, the better you know the menu, the better you know the computer system, the better you know the drink, the better you know the wine list, the less stress you will experience and then of course give yourself few months on this job you work three months on this job things getting easier you work six months in this job things getting automatic you don't stress no more because you have learned everything you can handle any situation that's it jose for sure True, fine dining requires no mistakes. True, fine. Listen, everybody makes mistakes. Even in fine dining, you make mistakes. But of course, uh, you know, the expectations of the guests are way, way higher than, than you work in a fast-paced restaurant or a casual dining restaurant. Those people, they come and they pay extra. You know, the steak in a fine dining is 65 bucks. A steak in a casual dining or a fast-paced restaurant, it could be 25 bucks. Do you understand? So they pay extra because they expect the service to be on a completely different level, all right? And of course, you have to minimize the mistakes. But everybody made mistakes. You just need to know how to handle those mistakes um, and just keep going. Carl says, new hire, sir. So, yeah, as I, as I expected. Give yourself a little bit of time. Make sure you now start learning the menu and the wine list and the drink list really thoroughly. Make sure you know everything about the wine and the, 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 the food. Uh, so you can explain every single wine, every single uh, dish on the menu uh, and give yourself time. And like I said, remind yourself all the time. This is temporary, you know, one hour or half an hour. It's going to be away. It's going to be a normal business. We're just going to work now. Stop. Everything's going to be fine. And then, of course, slow down instead of running faster and faster and faster and faster slow down take a deep breath three times start thinking again with the proper part of the brain start prioritizing and start um yeah prioritizing when you're a new kid it's hard but that's why you talk to your uh head waiter that's why you talk to your uh supervisor restaurant manager uh to help you uh get uh, this uh task you know properly arranged so you can prioritize uh, properly. Uh, but like I said, give yourself three months. You see, it's going to be better. And then six months, it's going to be automatic. You'll be fine. Good luck, my friend. Good luck, Carlo. Uh, third Patel. Sir, my job gone due to COVID in India. Then I have started working at corporate office in Dubai. I completed almost 10 months. No, I want to I want to switch back to FMB. 
Uh, that's the easiest thing, man. Right now in Dubai, they are hiring a lot of waiters, a lot of waiters. Uh, you're already in Dubai. You have the working visa. Um, I don't know what's the contract uh, you have signed, but um, uh, you know. So you know if you can uh, cancel the contract or, or whatever you can do. Uh, so just, just start applying for a job. If you have already experience, if you're already in Dubai, I guarantee you're going to get a job this week. You start applying, you're going to have a job this week. They're, they're hiring right, right now like crazy in Dubai. So go get it. Uh, this is my advice. Uh, depends on your contract. I don't know if you sign a contract that uh, you cannot cancel. You have to finish it, whatever. You know what, you, what your contract is. Uh, but if you are in Dubai and you want to get a job uh, in FMB, that's the easiest thing right now. Plexora, Plexora. Greetings, sir. I planning to work at River Cruise in Germany. All right. This is first time I'm going to work on ship. Any tips for me, sir? I'm planning to work as bar waiter. Thank you and advice. Um, listen, cruise lines, uh, they have problem right now. Um, because the rivers in uh, in uh, in Europe are, are so low, uh, some of the cruises are not uh, not going. So I hope that uh, you don't uh, you don't get stuck, uh, uh, you don't get uh, your job canceled because of that. Other than that, uh, bar waiter, make sure you call them right now and uh, tell them to send you the the bar menu so you can start learning the drinks. Um, start learning a little bit of German. If you're going to work in a German company. It's going to be tremendous, tremendous advantage for you if you speak even the basics like Guten Morgen, Wie geht's Ihnen, um, you know, Herzlich Willkommen, all those kind of things that you have to uh, greet your guest, minimum greet your guest, all right? So um, make sure you learn, you learn at least a little bit of German, but the first thing that you learn is to learn the menu, bar menu, make sure you know everything about that. Everything else is just a normal job. Uh, you have nothing to worry about. Uh, cruise lines, uh, um, ship cruise lines are, are a good job. You're making good money. Uh, you're serving guests that tip well if you do good job. Uh, if you're really uh, professional, if you're really polite, um, you're going to make money. So uh, good luck. Hopefully it works. And um, don't worry about nothing. But make sure you're prepared with the drinks so you know everything about the drink menu on the bar and uh, and then of course a little bit of German. Just start learning German right away. Mr. Ramos, I just got hired at Mandalay Bay as a banquet. Hey, my friend, you have to start that with that, my friend. If you are Mandalay Bay banquet, you are now top ten in the world. All right, because you're gonna make top ten money in the world. If you got hired at Mandalay Bay banquet, this is a dream job. You're going to start making a lot of money. Um, uh, just make sure you don't screw up. You work really hard. You come always on time. Don't be late. Be always polite to your colleagues, to your supervisors, to your guests. That's all it takes. Banquets in Mandalay Bay, in the Venetian, is, uh, in, in Vegas, it's easy. You work everything on cue. Serve the food. Clean the food. Serve the dessert. Clean the dessert, serve this, clean this. And that's it, man. That's the easiest job and the, the best paying job in the world, especially Mandalay Bay, because they have amazing banquet department. You know, Mandalay Bay, Bellagio, Wynn, Panician. Those are the top four that you want to work. Those are the top four. And you're working in one of the top four uh, uh, resorts in the world right now, my friend. So uh, good job, Mr. Ramos. I, you, should, you should have started with that. Uh, Okay, well, you're going to learn. I mean, you got to learn, my friend. You got to learn. Listen, everything at the beginning is, is, uh, is hard and stressful. You just got to learn. You got to, you got to, you're going to have problem with the computer system. You tell your manager, hey, listen, man, I want to come uh, uh, one hour earlier uh, so I can practice with the computer. Can I do that? Yes, of course. They have training program. They send you up on the computer on the side. You turn on the training program and you start working. I don't know why you are having problem with the with the with the booking. You mean you have problem with the booking uh, booking banquets? 
or you have problem because in the banquet we don't book nothing usually. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I you know I used to work banquets in Las Vegas. Uh, um, what, 15, 16, 17 years ago, uh, we were not booking anything. But um, if you mean you have problem booking banquets because you are on call, if you're on call, hey, that's a little bit tough. You know, you gotta stay on the line. You gotta, you gotta be really um, patient. You gotta be really uh, attentive to 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 watch. But you gotta do. Uh, you're gonna do good, man. Don't worry about it. Whatever you have troubles, you have. You now are working for one of the top five resorts in the freaking world. And you are going to make a lot of money. A lot of money. So make sure you don't screw it up. Make sure you learn. Make sure you're always polite, always smiling. All right, I don't have battery. Hold on a second, guys. My telephone's going to turn off anyway. I'm going to just have to close the live stream anyway, but... Uh, let me finish here at least these things. Gotta put some uh, the cables so I can start charging a little bit. Uh, what's going on? Just one second. All right, it's charging now, so it should be okay. Carol said, thank you very much, sir. You're very welcome, man. Best of luck. Third Patel say, yes, sir. Uh, Plague Sora, I was I was work as server in a nightclub for four years. Is there any big difference between bar waiter and server, sir? Um, well, the difference, the difference, where did you work? You know, because if you've been working in a, in a, in a not German speaking country, that's going to be a big difference. All right. Uh, so, Nightclub is one thing, and a bar area at, in a cruise line is a completely different thing. You're going to have to be able to uh, do a better service, better wine, better cocktail service, better uh, communication with the guests, because on the bar area, they will ask you to communicate with the guests all the time. You're not only serving drinks, but you have to also entertain the guests. In the, club, in the nightclub, you don't have time. You're just running, 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 drinks, 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 drinks. It's a different type of service, all right? Because you're going to have more time to stop by and say hi, a little bit of small talk and things like that. Uh, but um, the language is going to be a problem if you don't speak German. So um, I, I advise you, you speak, uh, you start learning German. Um, is there anything I should pay attention as bar waiter? Yes. As bar waiter, like I said, you go to a cruise line, uh, you are, you're going to be serving a different type of drinks, uh, most probably, uh, to those guests. All right. So make sure you know what is a single mouth scotch, what is the uh, different type of vodka, what is the different type of uh, cocktails that uh, they drink uh, um, here in uh, Europe, in Germany. Um, all those kind of things. That's why I say you learn the menu. Make sure you learn the menu. That's very, very important for you. That's the most important thing for you. You learn the menu. And if you don't know what cocktail uh, this cocktail is, you Google it. You find exactly what the ingredients are and so and so. So you're prepared. You know how to work with this. And that's going to be the most important thing for you. Vanny Ramos is sending emojis with uh, smiles. and uh, uh, Thank you. You're very welcome, my friend. All right, guys. I will close the live stream right now because it's been already 50 minutes. Um, I I'm hungry. Yeah, what time is it, man? It's, it's after 12 probably. Yeah, 12:10. That's enough. Good guys. Hey, great. Listen, amazing chat. Thank you very much for uh, coming here today and talking to me. Um, that was uh, I I think very helpful uh, information. Very quick. Very uh, smart questions. Uh, appreciate that, guys. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, 11 o'clock Central European time. And um, stay safe. Stay healthy. Take care of yourself and your family. Um, work hard and uh, make good money, man. Enjoy life. Listen, guys, has never been a better time to be a waiter. Has never been a better time to be a waiter. There are so many jobs, so many top jobs that has never, they have never been available on the market. 
even in Las Vegas. Yeah, that's why Mr. Ramos is uh, working in uh, in uh, in the top uh, hotel in the world right now, Mandalay Bay Resort, man. One of my favorite places in the world. I love Mandalay Bay. Hey, can you tell me if the if the Red Square is still open and Rum Jungle is still open? I guess they're still open, man. This was the money-making machine. Red Square was the most profitable restaurant in the freaking world uh, back in the days. I I'm, I bet they, they're still uh, killing the bank. All right, guys. Um, peace. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Plexora. You too, man. Best, best of luck with the, with the cruise line job.